Hey y'all, welcome back. It's been a while. I'm uh, gonna do a video on the Ford 2N, 1947 Ford 2N, 12 volt conversion. Okay, for y'all that followed me, uh, that's followed the build on this thing, I got this tractor for $2. Uh, guy pretty much gonna give it to him to me and I just didn't want to take it as charity but he gave it to me for two bucks and I jumped all over it now this thing was actually half it had a 12 volt battery but still had the six volt coil and the six volt starter and I know you can convert these with a uh, you know you don't have to change the six volt starter but I actually went ahead and changed it so the tractor I went through just eight ends. I'm not affiliated with them in any way, uh, but everybody has told me their alternator kits was 10 times better than what you get from Amazon, and I do believe that. Now, you, you have seen my governor install, and if you'll notice, the old governor's back on because I was still having trouble after the conversion and come to find out it was the carburetor that was just messed up. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go through this. The 12 volt, conversion is super simple and when i bought the kit i got the alternator all the new brackets the bigger belt and i went ahead and got the 12 volt coil from them and the tune-up kit it's got new plugs in it i run the wiring harness up and zip tied it as you can see it zip tied to the original rail up so it's got the uh i got the alternator kit all the 12 volt conversion stuff um, the, uh, I went ahead and my starter was about wore out. It was dragging anyway. So I got the 12 volt, uh, starter. Um, I've got the fuse link and everything in. I got a new voltmeter, uh, the same 12 volt battery I had. I do have a disconnect. I have a key switch and I do have a main power disconnect. Now, I, I follow Jason PA1. He specializes in eight ends, and I followed his video to do mine, and I suggest, I put it on this playlist at the end, and I suggest you go to his site for any questions. It's a complete tear down, step by step. Oh, and I did put an igniter, sit pyrotronics I, uh, igniter in it, so it does not run on points no more. I'm away from that. I know a lot of people don't like to do that on antique tractors, but this thing is was bought for farm lease and doing food plots and bush hogging. And uh, I highly suggest you convert it over to electronic ignition. And I'll put the link to the ignition in the description below. Uh, I did order it from Amazon. The So anyway, I got this thing running and it was running pretty good, but I was still having that high chatter on top end, revving it up. And I, I thought, well, maybe the governor's just too tight. So I put the old governor on it, didn't change it. I ordered the carburetor. I'll put the link below the carburetor. I adjusted the main throttle out two turns and this out two turns. It cranked right up and I bush hogged with it several times. It is definitely an improvement. Uh, so go to just eight ends to get your complete wiring harness, uh, to get your, um, alternator kit. You won't be disappointed. I also ordered my 12 volt starter through them. And like I said, I'll put the links in it below. This was uh, I wished I had done the install, but I was an install video, but I was really pressed for time and you really can't beat the video from Jason PA one. I mean, he really breaks it down piece by piece takes the hood off now i did not take the hood off to do this but this was a major upgrade for the old farm tractor for the old deer lease tractor so like i said i hope this helped you in some way uh check out jason and uh good luck with your eight in and as always god bless <laughs>